What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. We got some major news here on Biden's and Trump. Crazy. This is groundbreaking news. This is going to affect things for years to come here. Take a look at this. Hunter Biden to take a guilty plea deal to federal tax crimes and take a deal on gun charges. I'll let you see here. All the details on this, honestly, I'm very surprised that he's pleading guilty on this. I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm surprised that he's guilty or not. I'm surprised that he's pleading guilty and not dragging this out as long as possible. Uh, similar to what Trump is doing with, you know, lawyering up and just pleading not guilty and just dragging it out for years and years and years. Um, as you're seeing Donald Trump do, because honestly, if you if you see what Trump is doing, he's just dragging these these things out for years and years and years. And if you have enough lawyers and enough power and enough money, it's it's hard to prove a lot of these things, right? But honestly, they they really must have had him by the uh, cojones, and he's going to plead guilty. And the Republicans are going to have an absolute field day with this. It, it, the, the Bidens and the Democrats are never going to hear the end of this. You are going to hear about this for years and years and years to come about the Biden family because of this. Take a listen to this. We have some breaking news now out of Delaware. The president's son, Hunter Biden, has agreed to plead guilty to two federal misdemeanors for failing to pay his taxes. That's right. According to court documents, he also faces a separate gun possession charge that will likely be dismissed if he meets certain conditions. All of this concluding a five-year federal investigation that's been heavily politicized. NBC News Justice reporter Ryan Riley joins us now from Washington, D.C. So, Ryan, first, can you just catch us up here? What are the charges and what has Hunter Biden agreed to in this plea deal. That's right. So it's two misdemeanor charges on the tax uh, charges. Um, and essentially, the recommendation will be probation for those charges. On the gun charge, as long as he goes through this program, uh, those charges uh, will not be brought forward. That's a more serious felony charge. Uh, I would note that that charge is just really rarely brought. Um, you know, it's a charge that applies to a huge number of people, gun owners with uh, drug issues. So that is really a wide swath of the American public, especially uh, mm. gun owners. So that's something that we don't that we very rarely see brought forward. The cases I've seen it brought forward are cases essentially where the feds are looking for a charge to stick against a white supremacist with guns, and they need something uh, to bring forward against them, so that's the charge that they bring. And even in those cases, you know, there's one here in D.C. Uh, where someone got time served, uh, about 10 months. Other cases, including a January 6 or someone got uh, about uh, a couple months of home detention on it, so it's a charge that just isn't brought all that often. Ryan, what are Hunter Biden's attorneys, his camp, saying about all of this since this news broke? Yeah, so, you know, they uh, they came out and made this statement, essentially, that this puts a, uh, an end to this. Uh, I would note that the statement from the U.S. Attorney's Office itself, which we should note, the U.S. Attorney there uh, is someone who was appointed by Donald Trump and was allowed to stay in place by the Biden administration to uh, allow this investigation to move forward without any political interference. And we've seen zero evidence whatsoever of any interference uh, by uh, either main justice here in D.C. or by uh, the White House. But, you know, they're saying that this puts a rest to it. The, uh, the statement that was put out by the U.S. Attorney's Office indicates that the investigation uh, is still ongoing, but we don't know whether that means that we're likely to see charge other charges going forward. That could just mean, essentially, if there's any new evidence that comes in, that's something that would be evaluated. But I think for now, it's pretty safe to say that this should likely bring a, uh, an end to this investigation. Yeah, so again, the charges, Hunter Biden has agreed to plead guilty to two federal misdemeanor crimes of willfully failing to pay federal income taxes. Honestly, I don't know what he's thinking. I, 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 it, unbelievable. You know, you got to like, what is going on here? He didn't pay his taxes. That's the charge. That's two of the federal misdemeanors. You can't make this stuff up. Honestly, this guy has been a thorn in the side of Joe no, Biden. His, his father was a senator for, forever. And then vice president. And then the vice president, and now the president. How in, in, in the world? 
And then don't forget the whole laptop thing. The guy literally goes and takes his laptop to a public place and leaves it there. Do you know what my father would do to me if I didn't pay my yeah. taxes? Her father's an accountant. My father's an accountant. Let alone if I was a senator's son or the vice president's son <laughs> or the president's son. My God. Joe Biden is literally pulling out whatever hair he has left. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just over and over oh and over, God. and it's you know you know they say a mother's love for their for their children is Joe Biden is probably like he's probably like oh my God I can't take this anymore and you know the the poor guy his other son you know you know served in the military and then died from a brain tumor you know and and they you know they're not sure if you know some of it came from serving in the army over over there and stuff. And then you got this other son. It's just like, oh, man, this guy is, like I said, it's just been a thorn in the side of Joe Biden for years and years and years. And you let me know your thoughts here in the comments, but I'm surprised. I am honestly surprised that they're pleading guilty to this and not dragging it out in the court system for, for years. Like I said, the Republicans are going to have a field day. You can already see the headlines here. Actually, let me let me finish here because the other the other charge here, Hunter Biden has also agreed to enter into a so-called pre-trial diversion agreement in connection with a federal felony charge of possession of a gun by a person who is a user or addict of illegal drugs. According to the filing by prosecutors in U.S. District Court of Delaware, typically such agreements call for the related criminal charge to be dismissed if a defendant complies with the conditions of the deal for a set period of time. McCarthy, this is what I want to show you, McCarthy doubles down on Biden family probes after Hunter guilty plea deal. Speaker McCarthy said a plea deal on tax charges for Hunter Biden's son will not slow down Republicans' investigation into the Biden family's dealings. The same quote, it continues to show the two-tier system in America, Speaker McCar uh, Kevin McCarthy said, if you are the president's leading political opponent, the DOJ tries to literally put you in jail and give you prison time. But if you are the president's son, you get a sweetheart deal. Well, you know, and honestly, I'm not sure about that because it's, he's pleading guilty. There's a difference. He's pleading guilty. And, you know, Trump is is fighting it for years and years and years. And there hasn't been any guilty. You know, there's no there's no sentencing or anything like that. So. I don't know. You can tell me if you think this is the right thing to do, plead guilty and take a, you know, what Kevin McCarthy would call a sweetheart deal. Or fight it for years and years and years. I don't know. What would you do? What would you do? I would probably fight it for years and years and years if I was the president's son or if I was Trump. Because, you know, and honestly, each situation is different. If you're a Republican, you're probably going to say, oh, you know, Biden's are guilty. Trump's innocent. If you're a Democrat, you know, and you're a, you're a, you know a far leaning Democrat, you're going to say, oh, the Bidens are innocent, the Trumps are guilty. If you're in the middle, you're going to probably be saying, well, you know, I'm, I have to look at each situation, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, uh, it and, and then it also depends on how incriminating the evidence is against you. You know, so maybe he took the the deal because the penalties weren't severe. If they got it in writing, you would think they did because. You know, they got lawyers to do this stuff. Um, but the, the, like I said, the Republicans are going to slam this home for years to come. You'll never hear the end of this from millions of Republicans. Millions of Republicans. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to you're going to now hear this for years. All oh, the Biden crime family. Look at. Look at his son. He's a criminal, you know, where like Trump hasn't been found guilty yet of anything and could drag this on forever. We'll see if he's found guilty of it. And like, you know, Trump, the way he like trumps up stuff, you know, for lack of a better pun here, um, even if he is found guilty of anything, the way he kind of words things and stuff, 
oh, it's they're they're just it's political, you know. They're not. It's I'm not actually guilty. They're just pinning this stuff on me. It's all political, you know. And like you could see here that in the uh, Hunter Biden case, the uh, U.S. District Attorney for that was a then Donald Trump appointed District Attorney. So you could kind of see in both of these cases, the person going after the other guy was somebody from the opposite political uh, party, right? The person going after Hunter Biden was a Republican appointed by Donald Trump. And the people going after the, uh, the Trumps are, you know, Democrats typically. I mean, you typically don't see Republicans going after the Trumps. It's kind of the same on both sides, honestly. Uh, and again, you know, you're going to get people in the comments saying, you know, oh, Trump's innocent, Trump's guilty. You're going to see people saying, the, oh, people going after Biden, it, you know, they're they're just, they're trying to pin stuff on him. And again, you're going to get like people in the middle saying, well, you know, looking at it, you know, rationally, if he pleads guilty, uh, it's either one of two things. He's, he's a guilty. Or um, he's seen the writing on the wall and said, well, I could take now and take these these minor, um, you know, charges that they're going to pin on me or, you know, have this uh, potentially go into a, a case where they're going to pin me with much, much heavier charges. But honestly, if you're pleading guilty, you're probably guilty. And again, who knows? Because. I'm not him. He's not me. I don't know all the intricate details like there, but the vast majority of the time when someone pleads guilty, they're guilty. I mean, yeah, my wife says, I don't know if you can hear her. Who would plead guilty if they're not guilty? I mean, there's probably some cases where somebody would plead guilty um, on some minor charges to get out. But honestly, they're, they're probably guilty. Probably guilty. Yeah. Let's be realistic here. So also you see here Trump. Well, honestly, if we if I should just go back here, if we look at the charges, I don't think that there's actually a lot for him to fight against here. Did he file his taxes or not? I mean, that's actually pretty black and white, right? Yeah. And did he have a gun on him? I mean, it... <laughs> If you actually look at the charges, I don't think that there's a lot to really argue now that I'm thinking about the actual case itself. That's probably why he pled guilty, because it's a black and white case. What is there to really argue there? Right? Right? Yeah, so maybe that's more why he pled guilty. Um, where if you look at like Trump's cases, it's more of a intricate matters of like, oh, there's all these circumstances around it, you know, and you know, you got the classified documents case. I wanted to show you this here. Trump's classified documents trial date set for August 14th. Okay. But, but, you know, in this case here, there's just so many intricate details. Oh, you know, I was the president. I had the authority to do this and do that. And it's going to be argued, oh, well, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. And that's that's where you get into all this hoopla and all this stuff here. And, oh, this is political. Oh, it's not. Oh, And, and that's where, like, all these different circumstances is. So, yeah, and it's like at, at some point, will Trump plead guilty to really lesser charges down the line? I don't think so because of just the messages sent out in the future. Um, I don't think Trump will plead guilty. It doesn't mean that it won't happen. It's just my opinion here. I don't think, I think Trump would fight everything tooth and nail all the way to the end. Um, I just don't think he'd send the message out that he would, that he's guilty on anything, any, at any time. Do you? You can let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Cause I just think that same thing here with the Hunter Biden thing is that now it's going to be plastered everywhere. Biden guilty. And the Republicans are going to have an absolute field day with this. For We're going to just look. This is never going to be. You know, I'm going to go to like family gatherings and 
and outings. And again, I'm not from either party. I can care less. But just like in conversations here, you know, you're going to have the, the the people that are, you know, moderate to far Republicans. And they're going to be like, oh, the Biden crime family, you know, and you're just going to be like, yeah, I, I get it. But there's just you're, they're never going to let this go. And same thing with Trump. If Trump pled guilty or he was found guilty, it will be the same type of thing. You like you already have like the moderate to far left Democrats already saying that even before he's been found guilty, just because of the charges he has against him. Oh, and then you question if Hunter Biden is guilty on this, what else is he guilty of? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What he's else? Kind of person if he's already guilty on this, this, yeah, what, what else, else could he be gu do? guilty by association? And yeah. yeah, you already have people saying, oh, well, you know, Hunter Biden's funneling money to Joe Biden, right? You've, you've already had people been saying that for years. And it's like, if you've been watching me for a long time, I've had people say, oh, he's a Democrat. And then literally like in the next video, you have people say, oh, Jimmy, are you, you're a Republican. And that's how you know I'm not either of them because literally in one video, you'll have people call me a Democrat. And the next video, you'll have people call me a Republican. It's like, that's how you know I'm not. We literally, one video in the next video, you have people literally. I'm just a realist. I just like to look at each situation and Call a spade a spade, you know. Take each situation and just look at it as a realist. If something's wrong, you call it wrong. You don't really care who it is or what yeah. party you're from. If they're doing something wrong, we're going to say that it's wrong. Yeah, I mean, I just like to look at each situation. You look yeah. at the border, we got a border problem. Yeah. If I happen to side with Republicans on that, it is what it is. But it's like when we look at, like, poverty in America, you know, I think that, you know, people need to be helped out a little bit with that. So if you think I'm, you know, I side with Democrats on that, I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, two thirds of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, you know, but it's like, yeah, I don't think that everybody should, you know, get handouts, you know, per se, you know, I think that we have to have some like restrictions on that and stuff, you know, and that's where like, it's like, I like to, you know, think about each situation, you know, with, you know, you know, with like reading glasses, you have to like, you have to look at these situations. Like I don't just side left or side right, you know, all the time. I like to be a realist. Just think about each situation and not just do whatever each party tells me to, you know, and I hope that more people think that way. You know, if, if one party's telling you how to think, is it really free will, free thought? Just my thoughts for you. Let me know your thoughts here in the comments, and I'll read them. Yeah, and you'll have thousands of other people read them, too. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Uh, I'll have a few less videos here uh, over the next couple days, but normally videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon. You'll get notifications when we go live here with new videos. Completely free to do so. And thank you for liking and sharing these videos. Here's some videos you should watch next. China doesn't want you to know about what's happening here in this video. And Congress is talking about more cuts to Social Security. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.